Hey, yo, we back fucking again. Ah, oh, right. So, we definitely have some great news tonight. As you beautiful people can see, we have our standard colorization back with our text. This is very, very good. This is this is the main reason I'm doing this video at like 7 in the morning because I know people are going to be happy about this. So, um, I, had, I know some people that said... You know, they weren't going to come back uh, until this got fixed, and uh, now it's fixed. So, you know, pretty uh, pretty good. You know, glad that everything is back to how it is. You know, now I can look at my account um, and just kind of show all my, all my max trends in the units, which obviously um, I do actually have, a, I only have 220 times uh, 3 units right now, but I do have Noel 20 times 3. Weakened defense and full stamina boost. I do have a... I will be doing a showcase on her very soon. But yeah, so let's just actually check into the details of the news. And um, just to make sure. So... Uh, new accessories. Alright, issue with some insects. Okay, I don't know what this is. Uh, the same for the standard mine now. Oh, okay. That's awkward. Imagine getting a character and then like a certain text pops up and then like it's the wrong character. Like that's the ultimate like. Psych. That's the wrong number. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that that'd be tough though. But um, the character indicator levels have been reverted back to the system that was in place before the new max link slot levels were implemented. Character level indicator will now show color change when all link slots are 10 rather than 20. As a result, some character level indicators will revert back to their previous colors. New accessories. Um, and uh, we'll talk about the new accessories in a little bit, actually. Um, soul tree leveling. Remove the block on your soul tree to streamline the character power of the process. There's a lot of players. Okay, I'll see that. Um, possible. Yo, this thing, this glitch where there are duplicate characters allowed to be put in the same team this is allowing people to run to like copy their jugram or copy their Tsukishima and run them in pvp which was like that was just absolutely crazy um let me just go ahead and take a look well let me look these new accessories are really really good uh they actually get up to 40 percent damage so Increased soul reaper killer effect, greater effect during guild quest. So this does go up to 40%. So spirit javelin this is the five star accessory for humans. But yeah, so we got four of these: one for soul reaper killer, hollow, a wrong card, no affiliation. And these are basically just going to make it so that it's um, you know, these are the most optimal thing for clearing guild quest. So. I was actually able to clear Heart Guild Quest this week as well. But, um, yeah, and I was able to do it before I got this. But, yeah, so I do have the Hollow Killer sticker. And it does give you guys 40% um, extra damage for Hollow Killer in Guild Quest. So, absolutely insane. Like I said, right now I'm running this with the Masanga with the Fortification Pill for Heart Guild Quest. So, um, I was able to beat it with a few seconds left. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, this is what my Raruka is. Just two of five. And obviously my um, Suki is max transcendent with defense slot. And he's a booster. That's the main reason. But, yeah. So, these are going to be really, really good. It's going to be a pain. Like, I think I've already used, like... 200 editing brushes on like three of these items so far so that's really going to be um something crazy and um extreme co-op is most definitely going to be needed for a lot of people just because of you know um the the new accessories but yeah i mean it's it's, it's going to be worth it you know you will be able to get these from your premium tickets so everybody that has a boatload of premium tickets just saved up, this is pretty much the time to use them. I'll probably be using mine in the next day or so to kind of round out the ones that I don't have. But, you know, the main thing I wanted to kind of talk about is uh, just the updated news to let you guys know that, yes, our text colors have been reverted. 
the new accessories have been added to the uh, to the pool and you can't get the the new accessories from fusions you can only get them from tickets so like i said even the tickets that i just showed you the you know the premium accessory ones you can get those um as well but um let's see here yeah so now you can see all my characters are back orange again looks good not to see that nauseating highlighted green all over the place but yeah looks good feels good to be back just want to do this quick video to let you guys know that the new update has taken place of course if you are watching this your game is probably already updated by now but yeah so now what they did not mention the timetable of what they're expecting of when the new text color for you know max transcended you know or 20 times three so you would imagine that it's going to stay orange and then purple for a regular max transcended you would hope there's a new color for 20 times three hopefully it's like blue or something like that and then you got a new color for 20 times three plus max transcendent you have to be able to differentiate between one and the two you know and i think it would be cool to give us a a, a color for 15 times three just so you can tell what people have bonus skills and stuff like that but other than that that's pretty much all the news i really do hope you guys enjoyed the video uh stay tuned because we will be having an 1800 login day showcase coming up very soon for you guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed that make sure you stay tuned and uh, don't forget like to subscribe till next time i love you prop nation I'm out. Oh,